Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to iDevice Focus. In today's super exciting video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the best 10 hidden new features introduced on the brand new iOS 18. So the number one hidden feature that many people are not aware of is the ability to lock any app using the face ID introduced on the iOS 18. Now, you don't have to use shortcuts. You can directly unlock any app. Let's say I want to lock this specific uh, app all i have to do is long press and then hold it for a few seconds and then this is going to pop up all you need to do is require face id click on require face id just like this so now every time i try to open this app it's going to ask for a face id just like this and then it will give you an access to the app and moving on the second feature that is hidden is the ability to hide any app and when you hide the app it literally does not show up in the search it does not show up with the notification it's literally hidden in your iphone and the where you can find this is all the way in your app library if you just scroll all the way down there is this new section right here it says hidden and in order to unhide this to unlock this you need to use your face id so let's say i want to hide this specific app the youtube all i have to do is i have to say again require face id but then now this time i'm going to enable hide and require face id because when you hide it automatically require face id will be activated right here as guys can you see it says hide youtube yes hide it it's just literally disappeared even if i want to look up youtube in my application right here it literally does not pop up only way i can access this is from here even if i go to my settings and then go to apps it will not pop up here as well right here as you guys can see there is literally no sign of youtube in the settings all i have to do is come come to app library unlock this and then boom just like that all of your hidden apps will pop up here and then you can just access it and use your face id moving on guys the third hidden feature is i guess it's not really hidden but many people may overlook this and miss this this is the redesigned brand new control center if you just swipe from the top right corner as you guys can see this looks pretty typical to your usual control center but only thing is right here on the right side if you just swipe just like this to scroll all the way down you can see that there's different menus now you have the ability to access your audio right here and then all of your settings such as your airdrop wi-fi cellular data bluetooth all of them have a separate menu now instead of being able to to access it from the main control center you can now just scroll all the way down and have a little bit nice organized settings within the control center at your fingertips and now moving on next up we have the brand new app icons on the bottom the ability to customize these two different icons back in the day it was only fixed with the camera as well as the flashlight right here but now if you just hold and press first you need to unlock your device and then just hold and press get to this section from here you're going to click on customize and then click on the lock screen and boom just like that if you just click on this minus icon and then add literally you can add anything in this section you can add any button or even if you want to set up a custom shortcut you can also do that and add a custom shortcut right here as you guys can see different sounds translate utilities vision accessibilities voice memos wallet watch you guys get the idea a bunch of different options here to add as a custom button right at your fingertip in the lock screen what i like to put is the airplane mode because i think it's just the most convenient thing being able to just turn on airplane mode let's say if i want to shoot a video so that i don't get distracted so easy and comfortable and convenient and also same thing you can do over here you can just go ahead and select anything from here that you want say i want to do alarm and then click on done and check out this guys you can also right here select from different styles of lock screen themes right here this is my favorite by far so now the next hidden feature is the ability to customize your home screen and your app icons you can literally hold and press go to edit right here as you guys can see there is a new section here it says customize and boom if you click on it it's going to bring this up this is a new menu added on the ios 18 beta right here as you guys can see you have the ability to set your home screen in any way that you want you can literally customize your icons the theme of the entire home screen just using this or you can also set it to light to dark or automatic meaning if you turn on the dark mode it's going to get a dark if you turn on the light mode it's going to get light what i like is the dark mode i think this looks the most sleek in the in terms of design and also next up is ability to make a larger icons right here as you guys can see it's going to remove the the text it's going to remove the app name but you will have a larger icon i think for some people this might be especially useful if you have a, a hard time seeing the icons so on and so forth moving on guys as we are talking about the home screen now you have the ability to drag and drop your icon anywhere that you please you can literally put your icon anywhere that you want and this is especially good as apple said to be able to reveal your wallpaper especially if you have a person's image in your wallpaper you can make sure that app icon is not blocking the face of that person so that you can always have a look at that precious person that is to you but you guys get the idea ability to put this anywhere you want i think this is really nice especially for the ios 18 customization moving on the seventh hidden feature is 
a lot of people don't know about this. This is the flashlight, new flashlight feature right here. As you guys can see, if I can turn off, off my light right here, as you guys can see, I'm going to turn off my light. And every time you turn on your flashlight, you will have these two different settings. The one is for increasing the brightness of your flashlight. Other one is controlling the, the width of your flashlight. You can literally make it like tunnel vision or you can make it wider so that way it covers the larger area but not as far you guys get the idea but this is a really cool feature introduced on ios 18 that i think a lot of people should check out a lot of people miss this because this is literally like hidden me myself personally at the beginning i didn't pay much attention to this but then i saw that there is these two different lines here you can literally control the brightness as well as the width of your light how much of the area that it covers and how far it goes which is really really nice moving on the next hidden feature is within the calculator now you get a completely redesigned calculator where you can access all of your previous calculations here on the top left corner if you click on this menu it's going to give access to a bunch of different uh, calculations that you've done in the past but not only that you just go ahead and flip this right here as you guys can see and then go to the calculator it's going to give access to scientific calculator math notes as well as convert anything that you want to convert and literally you can draw graphs with this do any type of mathematic equations and not only that guys if you just go ahead and open up your notes and then click on this right here the draw and then choose the basic one and then let's say i want to do four plus four and then as soon as you do equal and then click on solve it's going to automatically solve the uh the equation which is kind of crazy you can do your all your your you know math on the notes app especially if you have ipad you can just go ahead and type in everything or write out everything and as you do it it's going to solve every single equation that you have even if you have complicated equations you can solve that right here as you guys can see solve it boom just like that and it's going to resize it accordingly which is really really nice you guys get the idea but moving on guys the ninth hidden feature that we have on ios 18 as we are already on notes this is called smart script a lot of people don't know about this but essentially what it does is that when you are writing something by hand or with the smart pen it automatically corrects the spelling mistakes that you do let's say i am typing right here as you guys can see i purposely made a mistake now i can literally fix this and it's gonna rewrite it using my handwriting as you write more and more it's gonna learn your handwriting and it adjusts according to your handwriting another thing that this smart script can do is you can copy and paste text from the web and it's gonna write it in your own handwriting when you paste it to here which is really really nice but last but not least guys this is definitely a hidden feature i took probably like two to three days to figure out that this was actually was included on ios 18 this is a really subtle but really nice animation this is the animation added for the buttons on the sides both the volume up as well as the lock button right here as you guys can see look you see that animation on the left side if i do volume down you can see that from the you see that nice little bump every time you click on it and same thing when you lock it which is really really nice this is a hidden nice little animation that many people might not notice it's really subtle but it's a good addition to the ios 18 but nonetheless my friends there you have it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do smash that like button because it really helps the youtube algorithm to promote to new people as well as subscribe down below because i post high quality ios related content just like this one thanks again for watching check out this video if you want to install the ios 18 beta on your device or if you want to check out the ipad os you can check out this video right here on the left side with that being said thanks again for watching catch you guys next video. Peace out.